The new management at the Crescent Hill and Shawnee Golf Courses say they've got a lot of great new ideas, and they sure are grateful for the fantastic forecast this opening day. Everybody's chomping at the bits. <laughs> when will it open? For loyal players at Bobby Nichols, Crescent Hill, and Shawnee Golf Courses, it's been a long winter with the courses closed. On Sunday, they finally reopen. It's fantastic. Uh, it's kind of like coming back home, to be honest. I started here playing here in 1955. Former PGA pro Mo Dimling is taking over Crescent Hill. Good hole. Wide fairway here, Mark. <laughs> yeah, you're, you can land a 747 out here. <laughs> Before it closed, Metro Louisville officials said Crescent Hill was losing money. But Dimling says it has promise, and he likes the new city contracts. It puts more emphasis on us uh, growing the game, actually. In other words, if I get a golfer out here that's going to pay a greens fee, I'm getting part of that now. Dimling wants to attract more children, women, and seniors. Also the strategy for First Tee, which is taking over Shawnee. Well, what we're doing, we're going to be doing a family night to where some of the family nights we're going to be doing a uh, uh, couple's night where it's a blind draw. You bring a uh, uh, husband and spouse will come down and they'll uh, golf. So which we're going to set up to where it's not going to be that competitive. Deshaun Johnson runs First Tee, which teaches golf to children. He also wants to target millennials. They're not going to cost you for rental clubs. We have a new saying here, the, no balls, no clubs, no problem. Mark Vanderoff, WLKY News.